Get ready for a 30-minute fat-burning cardio workout with Becky Jennings, creator of The Balance Method. Grab a five to 10 pound dumbbell and let's get ready to sculpt your balanced body. Love it. All right, guys, let's get ready to rock. Let's start with a warm up. Jog in place. Oh, yeah. Make sure you're trying to bring those heels up. If you can touch the butt, even better. But yeah. let's warm up those bodies. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Doing great. Ready to rock. Becky. I'm so excited to have my girls, Anna and Autumn, with me. Can't wait to do this with you guys. And take it, Jack. Good. You want to be light on those toes. This nice little hop. Breathing through the nose, exhale through the mouth. We're just warming up. I'm feeling warm. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right, we're gonna come down into a squat and reach those arms up. So we're building the, warming up the hips, getting those synovial fluid into some of those joints. Cause we're gonna be working those buns. Woo, I love that. Exactly. Got a nice wide stance there, Becky. Yeah, and that's, a, you know, the good thing of, thank you for noticing that, there's a lot of different stances for different hip positions. Good, take it wide and touch the toes. So if your hips are a little tighter, go a little wider in your stance. Ah. If you're really comfortable in those hip flexors, you can narrow that stance. You should be feeling this warming up those hamstrings. You might get a pop here and there, oh, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> Those things are always tight yeah. at the beginning of a workout. Good. And you want to do an active warm up. You don't want to start a workout with cold muscles. Good. Bring those feet together. Let's take those arms big and wide. Oh, yeah. Whew. There's a lot of tension in those shoulders. <laughs> Good. We want to really warm up the shoulder joint. They're going to be holding weights. And you're also going to be pushing weight with those shoulders oh, yeah. and bring it forward. This also opens up the chest. Really good way to open up and warm up the body. Oh, that feels so good. I know, take your arms wide and then round the back. Open wide. Oh, that should feel so good on that spine. One more. And good. How do you guys feel? Oh, everything's warm. Warm, up. I love All it. All right, let's grab the weights. We're gonna start with a squat building series. All right, so take your feet about hip width apart and turn the toes out slightly. That'll be more comfortable on your hip flexors. All right, push that booty back, all the weight in your heels, come down, push the hips forward, squeeze the butt, that's one. Take it down and up. Really flex the buns on the way up. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the more you squeeze, the better it's gonna be for you. Good like job. Squeeze it here and here. Good, one more. Good, we're gonna add on, take those weights right in front of your shoulders. Same squat, now shoulder press. Take it down and up. What I like to tell my clients, try to get those elbows down to your knees. Touch those oh, elbows. Yeah, oh, that makes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That, that means your booty difference. has to go back though. Good, let's do two more here. One more, we're gonna hold it down. Take it one, two, Three push up, add the shoulder press. One, two, three, up and press. Oh, good. Focus on pushing, kind of act like you have a wall on either side of your knee so that your knees aren't coming in. And up. We got three more. Good. Ooh, these ones burn the quads. Two more. Yeah. Two, three, and up. One, two, three. And up, drop those weights really quick. Okay, we're gonna three pulse and hop. Hands in front. One, two, three, hop up, land. One, two, three, up and land. One, two, three, up and land. Your legs should be burning. Good, halfway there. Woo. One, two, three, up, land. Two, three, last one. Two, three, land, hold it down. Come up for eight, squeeze everything. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And rest. Oh, Shake, out. Shake out those legs. Oh. Grab a sip of water. Because we're not done awesome. with the legs. Okay, grab those weights. We're gonna start with a lunge build series. So we're gonna take it back into a reverse lunge, nice and slow. Come up and tap. Take it down and up. Legs are shaky still. Yeah. <laughs> and let your heart rate recover now. Big inhales through the nose, exhales through the mouth. 
and you want to exhale on the hardest part of the movement. So when you're coming up. Woo. Oh yeah. One more here. Feeling the booty. Good. Now take it a little bit faster. Here we go. Eight. Tap. Seven. Oh boy. <laughs> here we go. Five. Did I mention I don't like using weights? Four. <laughs> the body's enough weight. Three. Two. One, same speed, add the knee. Here, up, eight. Ah. You got it. Woo. Four, three, come on girls. Woo. Two, and one, oh. drop those weights real quick. Oh Put all that weight into the heel and booty, and quick, 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 faster. Here we go, burn it out, burn out those buns. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah. You can do it. Ah. And four, three, two, and one. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh bro, booty, booty, booty. Shake out that booty. We all okay. have to even out our sides though. <sighs> Take a Hard deep to breath. Up again there. Oh yeah. Who says you can't have a cardiovascular workout oh, yeah. when lifting weights? <laughs> all right, taking that right leg back, down, and up nice and slow. This is your active recovery time. <laughs> I know your heart is still pumping. Yeah. Whew. Good job, guys. It is nice, though, not to have it super fast. Exactly. Like, give me a little, little breather. <laughs> exactly. One more here. Good. Regular speed. Take it down. And tap. Two. <sighs> Good job, guys. If you're dying at home and we your are buns just are burning, or Just stage. take a quick second and get back into it with us. Yep. Good, add that knee up. Squeeze those abs. Oh, okay. Good job, you guys. Uh, this is four. Uh, take the balance away. Use those abs. Yeah. Two more. Whew. Drop those weights real quick. Here we go with those bun screamers. Let's go. One, two, three. Oh man, we got this. Yeah. We have eight, seven, Six, five, if you need to scream, go ahead and rest. Oh my God, Good awesome. job. Good job, yeah. you guys. What did they say? You scold buns all over LA? I like to build buns all over Los Angeles. Yeah, it's working me today. <laughs> all right, move those weights out the side. We're gonna go down into plank. Our arms and our abs, they're, they haven't been used. Oh boy. So let's, let's rock this right now. Take your feet a little bit wide. You're pushing yourself up into downward dog. Go ahead and raise one leg, and you're taking that leg to the outside of the elbow. And press back. Whew. That feels good. Yeah. Make sure when you're coming down, you're tucking your pelvis, and you're really activating the core. Now again, if you're super tight in those hip flexors, this might be a little hard to get the knee to the elbow. Just go as close as you can. Good. Switch legs. Oh yeah, it's working it. <laughs> Here we go. I'm just trying to burn it. What? Here comes the sweat. Here <laughs> comes the sweat. Uh -huh. I always find when you stop moving, that's when the sweat starts pouring. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Good job, you guys. You got this. Let's do three, two, and one. Good. We're gonna go straight into quick mountain climbers. We're crossing the opposite knee, underneath, okay. towards the elbow. Here we go, 20, one, two, three, four. Good job. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, we're going into side plank. We're gonna rock up into side plank, hold for a second, and then switch. So, you can take it two ways. Your feet can be wide, or they can be stacked. If you have tremendous balance, stack those feet. If you need to, take it wide. Come back and rotate. Good job, guys. Make sure your hand is directly underneath your elbow, directly underneath your shoulder. Well, that makes a huge difference for support. Yeah. It's, and it's not nearly in the wrist as much. Yeah. Safe on the shoulders. One more each side. Really lift the hips. You want to engage those obliques. And let's come down to center and onto our knees. Since we're strong, we're getting up real quick. All right, guys, going into football cardio drills. So we're gonna do, like, you know when 
football players getting ready to hike? That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna add a little jump to it. So come up, touch the ground. Woo! <laughs> little plyometrics here. Good, five, six, seven, eight, switch hands. I got a feeling you're trying to get us through that cardio part <laughs> of the workout. How'd you know? Four, three, two, and one. Good, staying low, because we like to build those booties. We're hopping to the left, touch the ground. Good job. These are speed skaters. They not only pump up the cardio, but they oh, yeah. give you an awesome round booty. Oh yeah. I like that, I like oh. the sound of that, Becky. A little happy booty. I'll take a happy booty. <laughs> mad right now, but it'll be happy. Right? <laughs> and Becky, to modify this one, you can just step to the if side. If you're modifying, just step and tap here. Take it nice yeah, and easy, Autumn. but stay low. Okay. Great oh question. Goodness. Almost there. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Right into that jog. All right, take it nice and easy. Everyone's sweating as much as I am? Oh, yes. yes, suck your wind, suck your wind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good, bring those knees up. Take them up. Woo. You guys got this at home? Come on. You guys killing it? You got it, you got it. Good job, five more seconds. Woo. And three, two, and rest. Grab some water. Awesome. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, take that sip of water any day. Good. So you want to kind of calm the body down a little bit. We're going to go into upper body. So go ahead and grab your weights. You want everyone to do me a favor? Big inhale, big exhale. One more of those. Does that feel better? Awesome. All right. So we're going to start with rotational shoulder press. If you want, do a split stance here, or you can take your legs nice and wide. Whichever position you choose, make sure your abs are super tight. We're gonna take those arms out to the side. Press up, have the weights meet together. Take them down, rotate in. Got it? Love it. All right, let's do this. Take it out. Exhale on that press, bring it in. Out. Good. Soft Big shoulders. exhale. I love sculpting shoulders. I was telling these girls before we started that I used to be a total pear shape. <laughs> like extra small, on top, size 10 on the bottom, it was the definition of a pair. When I learned how to sculpt shoulders, my whole <laughs> world changed because I was able to create a balanced body, one that actually had the same dimensions. So now my shoulders match my booty, <laughs> but that makes it look even smaller and makes my waist look smaller. I like that. And you look fantastic. And Thanks, ladies. Awesome. All right, and take I'm it down here, right hold here, shoulders. alternate. And we are so much stronger than we think. We don't think that we can lift five pounds. You can lift five pounds. Yeah. And even if you can only lift an eight pound three times, do that until you can lift it five times. You definitely can do it. All right, guys. Uh, <gasps> it's burning all I right. know, it should be burning. You know, it's Becky shoulders right now. Good, <laughs> both together, here we go. Press it up. <sighs> We're halfway there, four more, you can do it. Four, and three, two, and one. Oh. Awesome. All right, I wanna add one more fun one to the shoulders, because those shoulders are just dying to be worked out more. Awesome. <laughs> so go ahead and bend your elbows at a 90 degree angle. You want your elbows like into the rib cage, okay? One at a time, we're taking it out and back in. Ooh. This sculpts the medial delt, which is that big center cap in the middle of your shoulder. That's what makes the shoulder so beautiful. And, and it's, you get, it looks beautiful on men and on women. Yeah. Yeah, ladies. <laughs> Almost there. You wanna act like a puppet is holding a string on your elbow and it's pulling it up first. So you're leading with those elbows. How about can I see you moving your feet back and forth? Is that okay? Oh, I love to dance when I'm working. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm always I walking like around. That. I like that. You're light so on you your toes. To stationary. <laughs> it also maybe distracts me from the pain in my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're holding tens. That's kind of <laughs> heavy. 
four more, two on each side. One, two, three, and four. Great job, ladies. Awesome. All right. Since you know that I love the booty, we gotta create that nice, even line with those hips. We're going down, and we're gonna work the buns that much more. Ooh. All right, so when you're in tabletop position, I don't want you to have to arch your back here. Tuck your pelvis under, keep your abs nice and tight. That's gonna keep them strong and really protect your lower back. This is one of my favorite signature moves. I call it X marks the spot. <laughs> so you're gonna cross your ankles and don't just cross them and leave that knee where it is. Open up the hip. You really want that hip turned out. From there, you're gonna lift and kick. Take it down and back. Oh, you should already oh, feel that. Whew. My classes, when I teach oh this God. part, they're like screaming. Oh, especially if you're doing it right and trying to keep your hips straight. Exactly, with those abs nice yeah. and tucked in. And you know, slow, in my opinion, is always better when working out. Mm. You can swing weights, you can use momentum, but when you slow it down and you actually dig in and focus on the muscle being used, you're gonna activate and engage way more of that muscle. I also feel in the other leg as well. Yeah. Totally! Yeah. Stabilizing hip that is on That stabilizing fire. hip is on fire. Good. Oh. And I just noticed my hip was coming in a little bit and I had to intentionally push that back out. Just make sure your mind is where your hip is. Let's get one more here. Oh my goodness. Oh good. Take those Ooh. knee to knee now. Your butt should feel nice oh and warm. <laughs> We're gonna take it into a fire hydrant series, okay? So you're gonna lift it hip width or hit height, take it back down. Try not to touch your knee to the ground. It's not a rest. We're still engaging it and we're still keeping it nice and active. Oh, how oh, are those legs? They are burning. The buns are burning. And the sweat's dripping off the nose. <laughs> That's always good. Listen, if you look pretty doing a workout, you're not doing it right. <laughs> you gotta get sweaty, you gotta dig in, because this is what's gonna create and sculpt that body that you want. Good, let's go three. And two. Hold it up. Pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it there, extend that foot. Eight, good job, seven, oh, wow, six, five. You got it, four, oh my gosh, three, two, and Ooh. one. Oh my. oh my gosh, good. Oh, Push it I'm off to one practice. side. <laughs> oh. Good, push your hips off to one side, really stretch oh, the booty. Yeah, that's nice. That should feel really nice, because that's about to be the active leg. So you want to get, or the, excuse me, the stabilizing leg. Oh, oh good. Boy. Can you Ooh. feel that? Oh yeah. Okay. Don't All like right. it. Back up. Now remember that lower back form. You were not arched. We have our tailbone tucked. Our abs are super engaged, protecting that lower back. We're taking that back leg out. Open up the hip, cross those ankles, X marks the spot. Here we go, <laughs> lift it up, kick, and back down. Let's see how high you guys are going. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. Woo. Oh boy, well it's the second one. Yeah, right? <laughs> save it. Let's see where I'm at, number 10. <laughs> we did a lot on that Woo. other side. Yeah. Good job, guys. I see some legs. Shaking. You're shaking. I'm shaking. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> Surely I'm if shaking. If you're not shaking, you're high going around. <laughs> Good. Even some arms are shaking. I love it. Good job, Muscles you guys. Muscles are working. Oh, yeah. Everywhere. Whew. I love it. You guys look so pretty doing it. I love it. <laughs> How are your buns feeling at home? Are they screaming uh, like us? Screaming. I hope so. Good job, guys. If you want to modify this, just take it a little bit lower. Yeah. Or skip the leg kick in general and just lift. Do the lift. Just lift from there. Good job, guys. Let's do four. You got it. Take a break whenever you need and then get right back in with us. Two more. Whew. Last one here. Up, kick, bend that knee and drop it down. Okay, nice big inhale and we're getting ready to do that fire hydrant series. Okay, right. take that back leg up and out. Oh, it already is 
screaming. Oh, and keeping oh, the belly tight is really yes. a challenge. I'm really trying to focus on keeping my back straight and my belly engaged. Yeah, because then, I mean, you're actually setting yourself up for, for injury if you're just kind of swinging that yeah. leg up. How's that stabilizing oh leg God. feel? Even my shoulders. Yeah. My shoulders are burning out. too, Autumn. Mm -hmm. Good job. One more. Hold it up. Pulse for eight. Eight, seven, six. Be intentional about that pulse. Three, two, and one. Kick oh. it out. Make sure you have a point that you are looking and trying to kick at that. Three, four. We're halfway there. Five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. I think I'm make it. Good job, you guys. Stretch <laughs> off to the side. I have sweat dripping everywhere. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and really give yourself a good stretch. When you bring your arms up to the side, it's gonna elongate that stretch through the back. I love it. And switch. Woo! Good job, you guys. That's when you can do watching TV. Yes! <laughs> All right, we're going into our final ab series. Are you guys ready? Yes. Our abs got a lot of work, but I think we can push them further. All right, we're gonna start in plank on the arms, and we're gonna go into a shoulder tap. So take your hands nice and wide and grip into it with your fingertips too. We don't wanna put all the weight just on our heels. All right, take your feet wide. The goal here is to not let your hips shake at all. So keep your abs super tight. Opposite arm, touch that shoulder. Here we go. Up, up. You see the difference when you're focusing on not moving those hips? How much more those abs oh, yeah are working. And so, to modify it, Becky, we just simply drop the knees. Drop to the knees, squeeze that pelvis under two, and rock it from here. Uh, Great job. Almost woo. there. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Drop to those knees. All right, we're going into side plank. This is gonna be a little bit challenging of an exercise. Autumn's gonna show us a nice modification. So go ahead and push yourself up into side plank. I want this top leg as your anchor. So you can even kind of flatten that foot if you want. Arm is up, you're taking your back leg, touching knee to elbow, take it back. Touch and back. You should really feel this in those obliques. So I'm just gonna reach and actually use the opposite leg. Exactly, because right? you're still targeting those obliques. Oh my goodness. So you're gonna get those on the other side no matter what. Yep. I promise. Let's do four more, you can do it. Four, and three, two, and one. Oh, that's awesome. Oh yeah. That is awesome. That not only gets your shoulders, those obliques, but your booty yeah. is still working. Everything's engaged. All right, go ahead and ground that top leg. And again, use your fingertips. Don't put all that weight on the heel of your hand, okay? So let's take it back, arm overhead. Here we go. One, two. Three. Good job, guys. Whose obliques are screaming? <sighs> Halfway there. Six more. You got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, look at Becky. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> so, you know, we sculpted the shoulders. We just gave you a nice little narrow waist and it complements the booty. Yes, it does. All right, so now we're going into my favorite, which is dolphins. So we're gonna go into a plank on our forearms. So when you're in plank, it's easy to just kind of put all that weight into your shoulders. Go ahead and take your feet together and act like there's a zipper going from your ankle all the way to your, all the way to your hips. Mm. That means you're focusing, squeezing that butt. You're gonna push those hips up into the air, tuck the pelvis, squeeze the abs on the way down, and back up. Do you feel the difference oh, yeah. when you guys use those legs? Definitely. Takes all of that weight off those shoulders, which we naturally think have to be the support right. in a plank. And when you're focusing on tucking the pelvis, squeezing not only the buns, but those lower abs, mm. oh man, you get such better workout. So much more work on the core. Yes. Feel it. Let's do five more, really intentional. Five, push up. But you feel this in the shoulders too. Oh my God, but the abs are on fire. Mm -hmm. One more after this. And rest. Oh. Oh. oh my. The sweat is just dripping. All right, we're gonna swing our legs around. Our final exercise. 
This is an homage to my old dance teacher who used to make us do this all the time. And I'll tell you what she did during it. It was very mean. All right, so go ahead and take your toes up all the weights in your heels. Fingers are right underneath your knees. Lean yourself back. This is your starting position. Remove those hands and start pulling the rope, okay? okay? You wanna be really twisting through your shoulders, engaging that whole entire girdle. You ladies feel this, right? Oh my God, yeah. That twist is everything. Ooh, the my twist is everything. Is so crazy. And you have to suck that stomach in. Act like somebody punched you right here. And you have to really tighten the core. Go a little lower. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. It's when you keep getting lower and lower that it starts to really, uh, really kick in. I want you to go one more lower. And this time, try to touch the elbow behind you. Touch it to the ground. Oh. Oh, my God. So my dance teacher used to come around. She used to put her foot on our chest and push us lower. Oh my goodness. Well, you won't Somebody. be doing that today, will no, you? No, I won't be doing that. Okay. But we do have 30 more seconds. Oh. So go, go, let's kick it up. Tap, 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 tap those elbows. Oh, tap your elbow, boy. Tap your elbows, tap your elbows. Oh my gosh, you guys oh are goodness. killing it. Oh my goodness. 10 more seconds, you guys have this. This is our last thing. Almost there. Three, two, uh, and one. Oh, oh boy, oh. longest 10 seconds. Wow. Longest 10 seconds. So go ahead and push your abs up just a little bit. Oh, that, good. Oh, that should feel really good. You're lengthening through the chest. Mm. Good, all right, let's swing around. Give a quick ab stretch in Cobra. So this is one of my favorite ab stretches. Go ahead and lower yourself down. Have a neutral spine, your head's looking at the ground, and slowly push yourself up. Good, make sure that your shoulders are away from the, knee, or from the ears. And then drop one elbow and twist the side. You should feel that huge through your obliques. Yeah, Whew. I like this one. Very good. And go ahead, switch sides. Really lengthen those obliques. Good. I feel like it worked every muscle in my I body. know. Go ahead and come up to hands and knees. We're gonna do a quick cat-cow. The back worked a lot, no matter yeah. what, what we think. Good, push up, push those shoulders away, and arch the back. Now, one thing in cat-cow, a lot of us think that we have to raise our head up and arch that neck. Oh. If you just keep your gaze forward, it's actually much better on the neck. And you still are feeling it in those abs oh. and lower back. Good, nice job. Let's take that back leg forward into a runner's lunge. Now, I like to keep my knee down in a runner's lunge. I feel like that allows me to push my hips forward a little bit more. But really focus on this is the area that we're stretching out. If you can, go down to those elbows and really sink into that stretch. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh Anna's not the flexible kind. <laughs> When you go down to this area, you are definitely gonna feel it in that back leg as well. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get back up onto those hands. Tuck this toe right here and sit back. I love this hamstring stretch because it gets from the, where it connects to your booty all the way underneath your knee into your calf. Now you can do two different variations. Keep your toes pointing towards the ground. That's really gonna get into the back of the knee a little bit more and then stretch it up and that puts it into the belly of the hamstring. Oh, good job. Let's switch legs. Good. So make sure when you're in this runner's lunge, your knee is directly over the ankle. If it's over the toes at all, push your foot forward. It's really dangerous on the knees. We want to be feeling it in the hips. All right, and if you're super flexible and want to dig into that hamstring and that hip a little bit more, come down. Oh, this feels so good. Oh my God. <laughs> This is something nice and juicy that you guys can do while watching TV and push back into that hamstring stretch. Good, again, try to keep your toes down for the first little bit. Feel that all the way through those tendons in the back of the knee. That gets very little attention, so the more we can give it, the better. And then lift up the toe, put it right in the belly of the hamstring. Awesome. All right, go ahead and sit in a comfortable position. Cross leg, stack your legs or let's, however you feel comfortable, and let's take a shoulder across. Those really work today. They were not only your stabilizers, but we were lifting heavy weights. Great job on that. 
open up the chest, so awesome. and go ahead and stretch that shoulder. Can I train with you every day? Yes, <laughs> I love it. And one of my favorites, drop to the elbow, stretch out those obliques, reach to the side, up and over, and other side. Good. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Woo! And I'm so excited to see your balanced body. Woo! Thanks, Becky. Becky. You're amazing. Good job. Yay. Oh, oh gosh. gosh.